Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try one of these Boston Market. This one is their home style meals and it's sweet and sour chicken. Let me just say it's a heavy meal. Um, it is breaded all wheat, white meat chicken and tangy sweet and sour sauce with vegetable fried rice. 29 grams of protein. How big is this meal? 14 ounces or 397 grams? small writing for me i can't hardly see it so anyway there's uh there's what comes with it we bought these at kroger it was only two dollars and fifty cents so it's uh not bad at all and here's your information for you it is 640 calories if you eat the whole thing and there's the other stuff it says remove tray from card do not pierce uh cook it hot for four minutes Peel back film, stir, and recover. So I guess you're going to stir it all. And then cook for another two and a half minutes and let it sit for a minute or two to let it finish cooking, basically. And there's the direction. So there it is. I'm going to get in the microwave, and I'll be back. All right, so here it is out of the microwave. And uh, it smells good. It smells really good, actually. And you get a ton of rice um, with the vegetables. And you get quite a bit of chicken, too. It says it's breaded chicken, but I don't know what difference it makes. It's in all that sauce, so it's going to, um, you're not going to be able to, I mean, you can see it's breaded, but you're not going to be like crispy or anything. But there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces of chicken in there. So, uh, so anyway, I'll probably cut these pieces of chicken in half and uh, probably put some over here. But anyway, I'll, uh, I'll let this cool off for a minute. I'll be back. Okay, I gave it a little time to cool off. I did cut the chicken in half, like you can see here. There's the chicken in half. Um, this is just the chicken by itself. So I thought I would try that just by itself first. And then, um, then I'll try a little rice, and then I'll try them both together. So here we go. Chicken's good and tender. The breading actually makes no difference at all, except it um, it gives you a layer of brown on the outside, like a breading. Instead of just having pieces of chicken, um, I think it would have been fine just with the chicken, but the breading does add a little bit different flavor to it. So, so I guess that's good. Let's try some of the rice. Yeah, the rice is, I mean, it's pretty plain without the sauce. Let me see if I can dip a little sauce in here. Much better with the sauce. And it's um, it's a little dry, honestly, with the, um, by itself, it's it's actually really dry. Um, now some chicken and rice together. And of course, that's going to be the best way to eat it. Much, much better. Um, I will probably end up taking the chicken, all the chicken over here in the sauce, and just scooping it over to the rice side. Because that's really, literally the only way to eat it. So I'm going to scoop it over here and eat it all together. I think this is good. If you uh, if you like a sweet and sour chicken, it is, um, it is very sweet. So uh, if you don't like that, you won't like it, but it is sweet and sour, so you probably know that ahead of time. Um, I think it's good. The rice by itself, like I, like I said, if you get rice by itself and, and you're just trying to eat the rice, it's very plain and very dry, um, so you wouldn't want to eat it by itself, but when you mix the sauce in with it, I think it's fine. So um, you know, chicken's a good texture. I don't think the breaded chicken is even supposed to be crispy. I mean, it shows it on the front. It's like a, got a little bit of crispiness to it. But um, even if you did this in the oven, this, the chicken is just buried in sauce. So there's no way that breading is ever going to be crispy. Um, they would have to been separate completely and then put in the sauce afterwards. So uh, that's the only really complaint I have is the chicken is the breading is not crisp. But beyond that, it's got a good flavor, good textures. The crisp, the breading is a little soft. Uh, not quite to the mushy stage, but it is very, very soft. But um, overall, it's a pretty good meal. I'm going to give this one a four. Um, it's definitely not top of the line, but for sweet and sour chicken, it is very, very good. It has a good flavors to it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks for watching.